Hello gamers, it's SoftKitty99 and today we're in battle for Azeroth. But we've took a little detour and we've landed in our garrison back in Draenor. And before you say it, I have reason to be here. It's Winter Vale! So, I've decorated up my garrison for Winter Vale. We've got festoons of lights. We've got Christmas trees and presents. Look, a tiny one there and a bigger one hidden there behind that tree and look the absolute pièce de résistance the most beautiful giant ch Christmas tree in the entirety of Draenor it's here in my garrison oh and look even the guards and the people in town are all getting involved too the guards are all dressed up in winter Santa elf costumes and we've got candy canes along the edges of the path and there's another tree over there look there's a snowman by our little fountain and we've even got ourselves some smoky wood pastures vendors look there's their stall let's just pop around there so we've got the two vendors that sell all of the items like they do in Ironforge and Orgrimmar and the other towns around Azeroth in order to make your garrison beautiful like mine you want to come to Izzy and take a look at the things she sells. At the top she's got items for Hallow's End decorations and at the bottom she's got all the Christmas decorations and they go over onto the next page. The last two items on her list though, one is a toy which you need to collect as part of the Iron Armada achievement and the one that you're probably the most interested in is the Savage Gift. Every item on her list costs five Merry Supplies and you get the Merry Supplies by doing the daily quests that you can see are available with the blue exclamation mark at the gnome next to Izzy. But the reason you should be so interested in the Savage Gift is it has a 3% chance to drop the Minion of Grumpus Mount. And I'm showing you the Minion of Grumpus Mount now on my gnome. So every day, if you do the daily quests, you will get five of the Merry Tokens and you'll be able to buy one item off Izzy's list. If you want the Minion of Grumpus, of course, you're always going to be wanting to get the Savage Gift every day in the hope of getting the mount. There are four quests available. Where are the children? Asks you to save six kidnapped children. Menacing Grumplings asks you to kill eight Grumplings. Grumpus asks you to slay Grumpus. And What Horrible Presents asks you to destroy five unusual gifts. Off and, away. and if you do all of those four quests, you will receive five Merry Supplies each day. They're daily quests, so every day you can get five supplies and then either buy the Savage Gift from Izzy or one of the items to decorate your garrison. In order to do these quests we need to go to Frostfire Ridge which of course is a lot easier for the Horde as they have their garrison there so the Alliance have a longer trek so let's fly over there. If you just fly up and over the hills, you'll be at the location in order to do the quests. The quest area is quite a small compact area, so it makes doing the quests very quick and easy. Grumpus himself spawns on this high centre section of the questing area so it's probably best to start in this area until Grumpus pops up and you can help kill him. As you can see there are an awful lot of people around at the moment so killing Grumpus is going to be very quick and easy to do once he spawns. On the ground you'll find the unusual gifts and you want to use the little bottle to click it and throw it on top of the unusual gifts to destroy them. The minions are the yetis all around the area and you will find some little cages in which you will find 
the children. So you need to open the cages to let the children out and that is all the different quests that you need to do. And as you can see, I'm already making quite quick progress on the quests. And there's Grumpus, he practically spawned right on top of our heads. And as you can see, there's already tons of people fighting him. So make sure you get to tag him before he dies. And once we've finished Grumpus off, we'll then take a little tour around the edges, looking for the cages to free some of the children to get all the quests finished off quite quickly. So we need a few grumplings and we need to free some children. As you can see it's not taking very long for us to get these quests done. In fact I think we probably spent more time travelling than we'll actually spend doing the quests. So if you are on a horde character you've got less travelling to do so it's a lot quicker to get these quests done on a daily basis. When there are a lot of people around it makes killing Grumpus very easy and of course you can multi-tag the minions but of course only one person at a time can open the cages so you will perhaps have to wait around a little bit in order to be able to get enough children freed. There we go we've got three children out of one cage so that probably isn't going to take that long it's just a matter of finding a cage that hasn't been opened. I think these grumplings are spawning a little bit quick here so we need to try and extract ourselves from the fighting because we don't need to kill any more minions. But once we have extracted ourselves from the fighting there is one more thing to look at before we leave the area because there is a pet, a battle pet that you can collect in this area and I'll show you how to get that before we leave to turn in our quests. So if we just open this last cage for the children. Oh wait, we didn't need to do any more children. We've got all the quests done now, so we could go back and turn in. But as I said, there is a battle pet that you can get in this area. So let's take a look at that and show you how to get it. See these snow piles on the ground? You'll want to loot them. Now most of the things that you'll pick up are going to be snowballs but there's also a small chance that you can pick up a small grumpling battle pet from these snow mounds. So you want to keep going around until you can pick up the pet from one of these snow mounds. I'm going to keep the video running until I manage to pick up one of the pets. I don't think it takes that long to get them to be honest. I think it's quite a high percentage drop rate so I don't expect us to have to loot too many before we get one.
And there we go, one grumpling. They're always a green quality when they drop, so you will need an upgrade stone to make them to be blue quality. And you can have three of them at once in your pet journal. And this is what he looks like. He's actually a match for the minion of Grumpus Mount, so the two of them look really good together, and he's humanoid. And he can be caged and sold on the auction house, uh, though I would always check your auction house prices before you try to farm them if you're hoping to make a little bit of gold, just to make sure that there is a margin there for making some money. And this is what he looks like. And as you can see, it didn't take very long for me to get hold of one, so it's not too hard for you to farm this particular pet for yourself. So now it's time to return to our garrison, so we can use the garrison hearthstone to get back. And then we can turn in the four quests, so that we've got our tokens, and we can turn those in for whatever we want to get from the vendor. So whether you want to decorate your garrison, or whether you're hoping that you'll get the minion of Grumpus out of your savage gift, you can turn that in every day to get one item from Izzy by the Fountain. So let's turn in the quests to Izzy, and then purchase whatever it is we want to get. We saved the kids, we got rid of the Grumplings, we killed Grumpus, and we got rid of the horrible presents, Izzy, so can we please have our reward? I am going to buy the Savage Gift, just to see what I get out of it today. Though I already have the minion of Grumpus, so I'm not too worried about not getting them out. As I said, I think it's about a 3% chance to get the minion of Grumpus, so good luck in your minion of Grumpus hunting. And I got 300 garrison resources. Hope you've enjoyed today's episode. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. From Softkitty99, goodbye and happy gaming!